In the last video I explained how you can create a simple RGB split transition in Premiere Pro without any plugins. And today I want to spice it up a bit more and show you another transition I created for a web series I recently worked on. This time we are going to create a VHS line glitch. I also made a presets pack available to download including the VHS line glitch plus last week's RGB split. So if you're not a big fan of following tutorials, you can just go and download the pack and use all the transitions in your videos. The download link is in the description below. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tom Streller. I'm a filmmaker and on this channel I cover everything filmmaking related. So if you're into this, make sure to subscribe to not miss any upcoming videos. I guarantee you won't regret it. So let's get straight into our Premiere Pro sequence and the first thing we need to do is add a new adjustment layer. Then for these transitions I found that 10 frames is a pretty good length to work with. So place the playhead on the cut between two clips, hit shift and arrow left, trim the clip and hit shift and arrow right and trim the clip again to get exactly 5 frames on each side of the cut. Next we need to duplicate the layer to get two short layers. Then go into the effects panel, drop a transform effect on the first layer. This will later create a flickering effect and a wave warp effect on the second layer. Now to create the flicker, head to the opacity property of the transform effect, enable keyframes and switch between 100 and 0% opacity to simply create a flickering effect. You could also just cut out parts from the clips below, but I found this way more effective since you can simply move the effect around without having to undo all the changes on the original footage. On the second layer, first we need to change some basics. So set the wave type to either noise or soft noise. You could also play around with other settings, but I found these two to be the most effective. Then set the direction to zero and the pinning to all edges. This will avoid black borders for the effect. And now comes the fun part. Just go into the wave height and width settings and play around with them until you get results you like. Then set a keyframe right in the middle where the cut between both clips is. Go to the beginning of the clip and set keyframes with lower values for these two properties and do the same at the end of the clip. This will make your glitch effect build up and down to be simply more effective. And that's pretty much it. You can of course modify this easy technique as you want. You could also skip the flickering part and just add one or two frames of VHS glitch, which also makes for a simple transition. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more filmmaking related videos like this one. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.